The second of those arkan is al imsak al muftirat. It is to withhold from all that which invalidates the fasting. And this is based on the saying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَكُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا حَكَّا يَتَبَيْنَ لَكُمُ الْحَيْطُ الْأَبْيَضُ مِنَ الْخَيْطِ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ الْفَجَرِ ثُمَّ أَتِّمُوا الصِّيَامَ إِلَى اللَّيْلِ Then fulfill fasting until the night. Then fulfill fasting until the night. So those muftirat, those things which he has to stay away from, or those things which invalidate the fast, is generally six things. It is six things which invalidate fasting. Number one and two is very obvious. It is eating and drinking intentionally. Eating and drinking intentionally. And the reason why we say intentionally is because if a person wants to eat and drink due to forgetfulness and he forgot that he was fasting, and if we ate or we drank, then that does not invalidate his fasting. Right? That does not break his fast. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the hadith of Abu Hurairah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man nasiya wa wa sa'im fa akala aw sharibah fal yatim sawmahu He said, whoever eats or drinks due to forgetfulness while he is fasting. Whoever eats or drinks due to forgetfulness while he is fasting, then he should complete his fast. He should complete his fast. فَإِنَّمَا أَطْعَمَهُ اللَّهُ وَسَقَاهُ For it is only Allah who has given him some food, some sustenance, or who has given him something to drink. It's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yani because even the state of forgetfulness, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who knew beforehand that he would forget and he would do this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had permitted this to occur. Right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not hold him responsible for that and therefore that does not invalidate his fasting. Yani if he forgets and he eats and he drinks. The third thing, so that is one and two. The third thing which invalidates fasting is al-qay'u amdan to induce vomiting. To induce vomiting. Any the person makes himself vomit. Right? For whatever reason or however he does it, but he induces vomiting himself. So for this reason, if he vomits due to feeling ill or for some other reason, something that he ate that doesn't agree with him, whatever the case may be, but he, he doesn't, yani the vomit, the, the, uh, it overcomes him. He just vomits, right? And then that person, he should also, he can also continue fasting and he doesn't invalidate his fasting. Right? It will not invalidate his fasting. And the uh, hadith of uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith also reported from Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Man dara'ahu al-qay, falaysa alayhi qadha. Man dara'ahu al-qay. Whoever's vomit overcame him. Right? Then, falaysa alayhi qadha. He does not have to make it up. Yani he does not have to pay in that fasting. Right? But whoever induces vomiting, right? Whoever induces vomiting, and he must, he must pay in. Right? Whoever induces vomiting, he must pay in. In other words, his, his puasa for that day is nullified. So that's a day that he misses, and it's a day that he has to make up. Right? The fourth and fifth is al-hayd wa nifas al-hayd and nifas right if the woman experiences a, a menses while she is fasting then that will invalidate her fasting right that will invalidate her fasting and she cannot continue fasting because her fasting will not be correct the fasting will not be correct. Right. 
and there are difference mentioned from the ulama regarding if the person now has the woman now she has a menstruation and she was fasting in the beginning of the day right then some say she must that that day is then no longer counted but she is not allowed to eat for the rest of for the rest of the day she must continue fasting right now we differ with that because that day's fasting is not being counted for her so why should she fast the day if the day is already invalidated all right so the woman if if she gets an instruction during the day and that day is invalidated then it means that she can eat she's allowed to eat a fast is not valid for that day right even though like we say some of them have said that she must stop with all from eating and drinking all right However, because that day is not valid, there is no point in her withholding from eating and drinking. Right? Now, nifas is the same. Nifas is the same as as hayd in his rulings. So, say a woman is um, she is fasting. Maybe she was in the period of nifas, and then it stopped. Right? She saw that the, the, the bleeding stopped, and then she started fasting. And then, when she fasted that day, then the bleeding started again. Now, because she's still in the period of nifas, maybe within the first forty days or so after uh, giving birth, then it's still she's still treating it as nifas, right? So that invalidates her fasting once again, right? Even if this happens, the last minute of the day it invalidates the day's fasting, right? It invalidates the day's fasting, even if a menstruation starts. A minute before Maghrib, then that day is not valid, right? The day is not valid. She has to pay in that day. This is because it is a condition for fasting to be valid that the woman must be free of hayd and nifas, right? So if she fasts with hayd and nifas, it doesn't count for her. The sixth thing which nullifies the fasting is aljima, intercourse. The husband has intercourse with his wife. In the Hari Ramadan, بعد الفجر, after Fajr, for example, or any time during the day, then the after, then this invalidates the fasting, and it is also a sin for which a kafara must be given. Right? It invalidates the fasting, and a kafara is wajib on that person. Right? Now the Hadith of Abu Huraira, رضي الله تعالى عنه. He reports, بينما نحن جلوس عند رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. He says, once we were sitting with رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. إذ جاءه رجل فقال يا رسول الله هلكت. A man came and he said, يا رسول الله I am destroyed, I am ruined. يا رسول الله I am ruined. قال مالك رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم ask him what's wrong with you. What is wrong with you? He said, وقعت على إمرأتي وأنا صائم. He said, I had intercourse with my wife and I'm fasting. Right? I had intercourse with my wife while I'm fasting. فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم هل تجد ركبة تعتقها? Do you find any ركبة any slave that you can set free? You have the means to set free a slave. قال لا. He said no. And I can't, I can't sit for it. A slave, I don't have it. قال فهل تستطيع أن تصوم شهرين متتابعين؟ نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم said, Are you able then to fast for two months consecutively? Two months consecutively. That means sixty days non-stop. يعني every day you must fast for sixty days. You can't fast fifty-five days and take a break. And for the other five days, maybe at the later stage, two months mutatabi aini, consecutively non-stop. Right, so it's sixty days fasting. قال لا. He said no. فقال هل تجد إطعام ستين مسكينة؟ Are you able to feed sixty poor people? Are you able to feed sixty poor people? يعني for every day feed a poor person. قال لا. He said no. So 
is not able to set free a slave, is not able to fast two months consecutively, is not able to feed 60 poor people. فَمَكَثَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, he sat for a while. فَبَيْنَا نَحْنُ عَلَى ذَلِكَ أُتِيَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ بِأَرَكٍ فِي تَمْرٌ And while we were sitting like this with Rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم, a vessel of dates were brought to him. A container of dates was brought to him صلى الله عليه وسلم. فَقَالَ أَيْنَ السَّائِلْ so the Prophet said, he says, where is the questioner? Right? Where is the one who asked this question? Qala So he said, yeah, I am. Qala khudhada fatasaddaq bih. Rasulullah said, take this and give it as, as charity, as sadaqah. Faqala rajul, ala afqara minni ya Rasulullah. To someone that's poorer than me ya Rasulullah. You know, it's like that's the man, there's no one poorer than me. He says, فَوَاللَّهِ مَا بَيْنَ لَابَتَيْهَا يُرِيدُ الْحَرَّتَيْنَ أَهْلُ بَيْتٍ أَفْقَرَ مِنْ أَهْلُ بَيْتٍ He says, وَاللَّهِ بِتُوِنْ دِيسْ تُو He locks, there is no people who is poorer than my family. There is no one that is poorer than my family. فَضَحِكَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, he laughed. He laughed and he said, take it and go feed your family with it. Take it and go feed your family with this. Now, this is that this person he has to give kafara because he has committed this deed. Now, the kafara that he must give, he must set free a slave. If he's not able to set free a slave, he must fast six, 60 days or two months consecutively. If he's not able to do that, he must feed 60 poor people. Right? And then the person says, after this, he, he must give sadaqah to whatever extent he can. Because now he also can't give 60 people. He said, doesn't have the ability to do that. So now Rasulullah says, give gives this in sadaqah, the dates. So now he says, you know, to someone poorer than me, is no one poorer than me. And as I qualify for this date, you're telling me I must give it away now. Right? So the Prophet laughed until you could see his molar teeth. You know, so he, it was really funny for him. Because this person did something wrong, but he's going to benefit from it. <laughs> right? Because he said, yeah, take it, and go give it to your family. Go feed your family with it. So this is, subhanAllah, this is Samahatul Sharia. This is how, how lenient our Sharia is in, in, in many cases. You know, that in many cases, the benefit for those who deserve it is always legislated in the Sharia. You know, absolute justice, because who, who legislated is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this person, just imagine he had that need now for that dates. And Rasul Sallallahu said to him, you can't have it, you must give it to someone else because you did the thing wrong. So you can't have the dates. But he, he qualifies for it. He's deserving me of. And if he's the one who did the wrong, then at least his family is deserving me of. You know, so the Sharia, he has, it, it has given it. So he said, no, give it to your family. Go feed your family with it. So that is the, that is the, the kafara for the person who commits that. But those six things, those are the invalidators of fasting. Right? If you do any of those six things, it invalidates the fasting.